Hey guys, Keith here. So I thought today we'd uh, install these tritium vials in my uh, my flashlight bezel. All I'm doing is taking Norland N61 and applying a small drop on either side. of where the, the tritium vial would be installed. And then dropping the, the vial into the slot. Hopefully. Okay, and then I take a, another drop and put it right over the top. Now, I've already installed the other th two in the ring, and I used this rack system. I think now I'm going to move on to just supporting the bezel on the bottle cap. and sliding it into this box. Now in the box I've got two black light tubes. It just gets slid in. And adjusted. All the box is doing is giving me, um, making my area a little safer to work with. It's not really good to look at the black light and all that. Um, and it's also helping keep some of those UV rays in the box which is going to accelerate my cure time. Um, so far my experiments have shown I need about an hour in here to fully cure the, the Norland. So we will check back in an hour and see what we get. Here's a shot of everything curing right now in, in between the two black lights and you can really see the tritiums are glowing like crazy. That's the, uh, the phosphor coating inside the cylinders reacting with the UV light. Well, we've given it a few hours, actually, overnight in the uh, the box here. And all that was was just two black lights stuffed inside a cardboard box um, just to keep the, the rays bouncing around inside and, and whatnot. So we'll pull that out and uh, let's take a, a closer look. And that's just the, the tritium vials installed in the, the slots. Yeehaw! Um, yeah, you're not going to be able to see them glow on camera. They do glow pretty significantly when they get closer to the UV. It's, uh, there you go, you can really see them going now. Especially when they get hit with the, the rays. Alright, um, next video coming up is going to be our starting to build the, the flashlight that this goes on. So, thanks guys for watching and have a good day.